So I'm thinking about Romans 8.18 today that says, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. So I'm remembering a time when we were painting some new baseboards. We got a nice primer, bright white, and the paint effectively soaked into the new wood. It looked like it really had infused well. So then we went ahead and brushed in two coats of brown color. And then we took the boards outside to dry. And then it rained. I didn't know it was going to rain, but it did a lot. And the paint on the boards bubbled up and peeled right off. The nice white paint was permanent. That primer was permanent, but the outside coats of color were in rough shape. So I was tempted to get frustrated by the extra work that the rain had created, but I knew that God had some lessons in mind for me, and I thought of a few. You know, it, it rains a lot, and life's storms can cause the surface of things to fade and lose their grip and get peeled away. We find out what's really under the surface in tough situations. Thought of another lesson. God has a very unique way to strip away what's on the surface as he cuts to the heart of things. He may not cause the storms, but suffering is never wasted in his economy. Thought of another lesson. When the layers of my life are stripped away and my heart is laid bare and I'm feeling exposed and vulnerable and, and wet, <laughs> When the masks of comfort are stripped away, God is my permanent hope. The fact is, all of creation awaits an expectation for the surface of things to be peeled away and his glory to be revealed in us. So, let it rain.